In this video, we will walk through the steps to install Proxmox, a free open source type one hypervisor. Step one is to go to proxmox.com and download the Proxmox virtual environment ISO file. Step two is to create a bootable USB drive that you will plug into your server and boot into the Proxmox installer. I use Belina Etcher, but there are many free services that can do this for you. In Belina Etcher, you plug in your USB drive into your machine, you point it to the ISO file and to the USB drive, and Belina Etcher creates a bootable USB drive for you. Once you have a bootable USB drive, we'll go on to the Proxmox installation procedure. For hypervisor installs on my server, I use the integrated lights out or ILO port. It's an out of band port that I can access my server's management system on. Plug your bootable USB drive into your server Boot your server and you'll be taken into this Proxmox installation menu. Going to hit enter. Proxmox will send a DHCP discover message out on your network. If you have a DHCP server like I do, it should grab an IP address here. You can make note of it here, but there'll be a confirmation screen later that'll show you what your management IP will be for your Proxmox hypervisor. I'm going to use my tab and enter keys on my keyboard to navigate through the screen. There is a mouse cursor, but I find that it's a little buggy and laggy. So I'm just going to use the tab and enter keys to navigate my way through this. Agree. This is our storage. I have one NVMe SSD drive installed in the server. We're gonna use that, enter. This is where we pick our country, time zone, and keyboard layout. And this screen will set our admin password for Proxmox as well as enter our email address. This is the confirmation screen I mentioned about the management network configuration. Our management interface is automatically chosen as well as our FQDN, our IP address for management, our gateway and our DNS server. Here's our final summary screen showing all the pertinent information. I'm gonna to recommend to uncheck the automatically reboot after a successful installation. Once Proxmox finishes its installation and reboots the server, if you still have your bootable USB drive in the server, you're just gonna go back into Proxmox installation. You do not wanna do that. So I'm going to unselect automatically reboot and then click install. At the end of the Proxmox installation, we will receive a message to reboot the server. At that point, unplug the bootable USB drive from your server and then reboot your server. We get a screen showing the installation was successful and we need to reboot. This is where I will unplug the bootable USB drive from my server and then return here and reboot. With the USB drive removed, we will now reboot. The next screen we see is the Proxmox terminal. Uh, we have a little message here. Welcome to Proxmox virtual environment. Please use your web browser to connect to the server. I'm gonna put that URL in a web browser next. I entered the URL into my web browser, use the credentials that I created during the Proxmox installation, and voila, we are in the Proxmox virtual environment hypervisor. So that's how we install the Proxmox virtual environment hypervisor. Thanks for watching, catch you in the next video.